it's Silas. So, funny story, but promise you won't get mad, okay? Picture this. I'm in the middle of a live stream, and my stomach starts growling. Really loud. And Chad starts noticing, and won't stop talking about it. They're like, yo, Silas, you good? You hungry? You need to go grab a bite or something? And I say, you know what? Yeah. I'd actually kill for some tacos right now. So I tell Chad, there's a taco joint nearby, and I'll be back in like 15, 20. And you know how I always forget to check the weather, right? So when I open the door, the wind practically knocks it wide open. I'm talking 50 miles per hour. Negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Or negative 20 degrees Celsius for you. But I've already made up my mind. And I what? Never give up and never back down. But tell me why. When I finally get to Hello Taco, 20 minutes for a 5 minute ETA by the way, they're closed. No tacos for me, stomach still growling, emotionally damaged. And I have to struggle my sorry ass back home. And guess what? When I get home, I realize my key must have fallen somewhere in this blizzard because it's not in my pockets. So I'm locked outside. My fingers are turning blue. And if I'm being really honest with you, I'm probably about to pass out from hunger. And then I remembered, you have a spare key to my apartment, right? Because it would make me so happy if you could come over with a Kepler wrap and unlock my door for me. Pretty please. Oh, and can you make a tweet for me? I've been outside for like two hours. I'm pretty sure that my viewers are worried. I wonder if they care that much. I'm calling you from a payphone, by the way. So glad I remembered your number. When you find Silas, he's slouched in front of his doorstep with a cat in his arms. He's out cold. You unlock the door after moving him out of the way. You try your best to drag him onto his bed, letting the cat follow you in and close the door from behind. You heap layers of blankets on and turn the heater on, hoping it'll warm him up. He's still so cold. Blankets trap body heat that you normally produce, but he's not even producing any right now. You climb into bed with him and cuddle him, hoping that he'll recover from this. The blizzard has gotten worse, and you don't think that you could make it to the nearest hospital. You brace for the worst, but after hours of anxious thoughts, you fall asleep. Mm, I'm hungry. Ah, uh, you were. I'm so sorry. I'm alive and well, see? Look at this smile. Does it look like the smile of a dead guy? <laughs> no, please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm too sexy. <laughs> I have to stay alive so I can take my partner out on dates. Then why don't we just tell them? Oh, in that case, my mouth is zip tight. It's zipped. <laughs> ah! There's a cat. Huh, little guy? Were you trying to warm me up?
Yeah, looks like he's chosen me. No, stay in bed, in the warmth. I got you. You already brought the food all the way here and saved my life. It's the least I can do for my hero. Where's the tacos? Did you get any for yourself too? Let's split it. I'll also whip something up. Ah, I'm so sorry. You were doing the 72 hour stream, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Let me take you on a date when you're free to make it up. I feel indebted to you. You're too nice. That's not true. Sometimes I ban Chad. but they came to see me in everything and like me. And sometimes they even donate. Okay. I still feel bad though. That's not true. Because I know you don't feel bad and you're also a good person. I love you. Hey, you've done so much for me, but can I ask you for just one more teensy favor? Can you teach me how to be a streamer for a week? Hit a million followers. In a week. It's a secret. Let's eat. You leave after eating. Hello. Sounds good. Good morning, Zyborgs. How are you guys? Well, funny story. You won't believe what happened. But I almost died. So, Hello Taco is a five minute walk from my place. And I'm like, what a breeze. I can walk that far. Well, do you know what isn't a breeze? The wind that's blowing 50 miles per hour. So imagine this, I step away from chat. My phone's out of battery, so I charge it and leave it at home. I put on a coat and open the door, not really knowing how it is outside or how the weather is because I've been talking to you guys all day. So, you know, I'm just waddling around headphones on, sweatpants on, 
jamming out, doing a little one-two dance move, practically skipping, excited for my little taco run, right? So tell me why. When I open my door, the door tries to headbutt me with the velocity of a moving car because of the strong ass winds. And tell me why I head out anyways, even though the wind was terrible and it was freezing cold. It's because you're dumb. But that's so mean. Aw, you love me? Yay. So as I was saying, I head out under this severe weather condition because I'm like, what the fuck? Five minutes of walking isn't gonna kill me. And it didn't. But then I actually walked to Hello Taco and it took me 20 minutes because of the snow and storm. And then when I got there, the store was closed. So I trudged my cold little booty all the way back home. And then I lost my keys. So now I'm keyless, phoneless, and foodless. Bitchless? I've got too much riz to be bitchless. I'll be here. Anyway, so. I'm out here shivering. If only someone was there to save me. Yeah, honestly, I think if I were saved, I would have fallen in love with my savior. How did you get in? A cat found my key for me. He's my savior. Isn't he cute? I haven't named him yet. What should I name him, chat? Princess Monster Truck. Oh, Squid is cute. Maybe ink because he's ink colored. Bowling ball? Soup. First name, French onion? French onion soup. You want to be named that, little guy? Meow. I don't think he likes it. Oh, eight ball is good. Pedro Pscal? <laughs> That's cute. Microwave is an amazing name. He likes apples. Duke. How does that sound, my little Duke Pie? <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I could write anyone's name in the death notebook. How am I gonna talk to you all in jail? I can't bear to be separated from you guys. So no death notebook for me. Aw, you'd save me? Will Xylus seduce the guards? Um, what about their families? I'm not gonna become a home wrecker. Xylus does not have that much confidence. You guys know me a little too well. Bite through the bars. Oh, their poor teeth. I fear for their dentist.
That plan won't get us anywhere. I think I might get too embarrassed and forget to sneak out too. I feel like such a princess. Aww. Thank you everyone for wanting to save me. I'd save you from any make-believe prison. Maybe all of them? Aww, really? You're my hero. Oh, and to everyone, I'd like to announce that I'm trying to get 1 million subs this week. Please do support me in my goal. Do you guys want to see me take off my shirt? I can. <laughs> if we hit one mil. That's all for today's stream. Thank you for your support. Hey, so how was that? Xylus Melons has just been there for so long. But she's not being mean, and she's been a longtime supporter. Can it be you? Do you have any recommendations on who I should mod? Can't I just take off my shirt? Seems like that's what people want. What does that mean? Why? Probably not. Oh, I see. And that problem is? Aw, oh, you think I'm handsome? Why are you trying to make me come over right now?
はいプロデューサーうんうんうんはい。Thinking of doing a karaoke stream today. Really? You think so? I wasn't sure. Are you sure you're not being biased? You're so sweet. I really appreciate you, you know? Your perception of me really makes me feel seen. Why? Stop, you're gonna make me cry before stream. I love you so much. But. Yo, 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 what's up, Zyborgs? <laughs> <laughs> Did I seem cool, chat? I'll give him all the kisses he needs to get better. Yeah, I'll be ready to accept all of them when I see you. I need him to. <laughs> You're so funny, chat. Everybody's so creative. Riz, um, I don't know. I'm kind of awkward with things like that. Uh, okay. Hey, I know a place. Actually, I made a song for you guys. I made it for you when I was making tacos. Because it reminded me of you. Because I like tacos and, and I like you. Like, actually, though, I prepared you a song. Behind the shadows and the darkness, a scene left lifeless. Secrets crawl, move along throughout these empty streets. You ship your feelings like a cheap, dirty whore. But that's fine for these soft spoken lowlifes that surround me. 
the good and bad you've had some of all of them but still this justice is not what it was then and i believe this need we're indulging in it's like a magic spell a fairy tale maybe an old sin we'd sell our souls to tell don't want to hear you say you don't want to hear it till you love me that gossip fills me up so sweet we'll go against the odds and ends of sin and misery and the ones that say that we're just getting in the way well damn the lot of them don't want to hear you say you love me without the raw explicity just let it burn and grow we'll raise this magical seed and as time goes on let it grow let it suffer and breathe that burning trace of gossip. was that good Thank you so much. I was pretty nervous about singing. I'm glad that you liked it. Wah. So, it was always my dream to be an idol, and I practiced singing a lot back when I was younger. My age? Nice old I ought. Nice old. What is your love language? Hmm. I think it's a bit of a mix. Acts of service and words of affirmation are definitely up there. It's funny because they're kind of the opposite in the way that you get acts of service when you're cared for, and when you care for someone else, you usually get words of affirmation, right? But I'm a spoiled boy, and I get to have both. <laughs> you're taken. I was just talking about my experience playing dating sims, dummy. The only person I have time for is you, chat. What dating sim? Hair 143, duh. guys bullying me placing food on the side of my desk and giving me head pats I think I'd cry if someone did that for me whoa you guys are so experienced Last time you had a good sleep, and why are you... That's so mean! I slept sometime last night. That's not a lie. How dark do you like your toast? Somewhere in between burnt and barely touched. A light brown is nice. Is it pink or brown? Mm. Neither. My favorite color's blue. Isn't it obvious? If you weren't a streamer, what would you be? An idol. What genre of music do you like? I like R&B, jazz, J-pop and J-rock. I have a classical background in music. Do I play an instrument? Unfortunately, all I have is my soundboard and my voice. Anyway, that's all for today. I'm gonna go eat before I forget. Thanks for tuning in and supporting me. It means the world. Bye. You really think so? Do you think it'll go viral? Oh, then that's all that matters. Any tips? Hmm. Idol streamer? Is it?
my connection with the fans. I like talking and relating with them. I just don't want them to overstep my boundaries. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Hmm. Nice, respectful, funny. I think I'm okay with a bit of teasing. I take it all as a joke, so I don't mind it much. How do you feel about it? Okay, I'll make sure that it doesn't happen again. Hmm, okay. You'll have me until death do us part. I'm trying to be with you forever, yes. Thank you for all of this. Hey, I want to spend some time with you. Mm -hmm. I really miss you lately. And I know you're always there in my streams. But I don't know. I just still miss you. <laughs> We've been talking about work so much that I don't even get to ask you how your day was. And how does that feel for you? I want to stream with you. I don't care what other people say. It's all going to blow over anyways. We could become this cute twish couple. Could you imagine it? Cooking streams together. Dancing together. Sleeping streams together. We could be the first. That's all I'm saying! Non-stop 30-day stream? What do you think? It is. We won't. I'm sure of it. I want to be with you forever. Mm -hmm. See, it's a great idea. I want the whole world to know.
Especially with how important it is to you. You like showcasing everything about you to the world. Attention, whore. You just like me, for real. I know you as well as you know me. Remember that. Sushi. Purple. Me. Dating you is like winning the lottery and having to hide it. Looks like I'll be winning the lottery a couple times in this lifetime then. Love you. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but I don't have a life outside of stream. I got some stuff for Ryuk to eat, and he's doing good. He seems very energetic and happy, but he doesn't eat anything other than apples. Maybe. Hey! Are you trying to turn our one-on-one -on -one date into a two-on-one -on -one date? I don't want that. I want all of your attention. No. Can't it be earlier? <sighs> I guess you're right. We just need to hit the goal and then we'll have all the time in the world. No, if I have any amount of energy, I'd rather be spending it with you. Ready to edit together? Hmm. <laughs> Love me some good parallel play. I think you're called cute. You always say that when I outwit you, huh? Fuck off. I love you too. Duh. I hit 800k! What the heck? I never expected this to happen. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I would have never done it without your support. What can I say? You've got good taste. You're so witty. I love you. Is it? I've always been in love with you, since as long as I can remember. Repeating it doesn't change anything. I just wanted you to know. You're of help just by being next to me. Ah, oh, but wait, before I go. I love you, bye. Wow, there's so many people here today. Hello to everyone new. Uh, I'm Xylus, an idol variety streamer. Today I'll be doing some Q&A since there are so many of you here. Are you scared of the dark? I am scared of the dark. You never know what can come at you if you can't see it. I always keep my trusty cat nightlight with me. Does that ruin your expectations of me? Sorry, I can't protect you, chat. <laughs> Male wife? What does that mean? Shh, 
Shh, baby girl, I'll protect you. Thank you for protecting me, ex-alien Vate. You got any exclusive content plans? Oh, I do have an OnlyFans. Hmm. I'm glad you're so excited, but I'm not sure why. No sneak peeks, unfortunately. Why wouldn't I have an OnlyFans? I love giving my fans exclusive content. Yeah, I drop never-before-seen gaming clips on there. What's my favorite game? Hmm. Hmm? Wait, 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 what? Thank you for the raid! Wait, what? We hit one mil! What the heck, guys? Thank you so much! As promised, for hitting my goal, I will be taking my shirt off for chat. Thank you so much! Wait, this is so amazing! Thank you, everyone! Everyone's joining? I can't believe I hit my goal early! Yippee! You made a Twitch account for me? Thank you so much! Can you mew? Mewing? Don't you mean meowing? I can do that. Nya. What's my favorite plushie? The Michael Eugene plushie. No, chat, don't make me into a marketable plushie. Actually, perfect segue. Today's sponsor is marketing genius Jenny V. Fam. She's the creator of Error 143 with a DLC and a plushie out now. Soon, she'll be making a plushie of me. Thank you so much. My taste in women. Well... I'd like someone with two arms and ten fingers, someone with nice hair, I like someone who has eyes. Personally, I like my significant others alive. I don't know about y'all, though. I hate people with cancer. Huh? No, I don't. I was just trying to say I like every type of person. Ah, shoot. But I guess you're right. I left a bunch of people out. I'm so sorry for that. I never meant for my words to have that intention. What? No, I wouldn't mind dating an amputee. Guys, what are you saying? Wait, 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 guys, it's a misunderstanding. Wait, guys, why are you being so mean to me? I feel like you're bullying me, Bexter. I never even said that! No. No. 
feel like I'll just say the wrong thing. I just don't understand how the people that could know me so well could say all those things to me. Do you think they think that of me now? Could have been smarter with how I worded things and said them. I must have done something wrong for it to happen to me. I'm getting off call today. It was such a giant roller coaster, and now I'm just emotionally exhausted. Goodbye. Sorry I messaged you in the middle of the night. There's been some nasty comments on my page, and I really don't know how to feel. That Bexter guy clipped the part where I said, and it got tons of views. More views than any of my videos. Now people think I hate people with cancer, even though I really don't. And this is like other people's introduction to me, you know? And I want to clear things up and show them that it's clipped. Right? What should I say? Do I respond with the whole clip? Write an apology? Well, but if I write an apology, won't that mean that I meant to say that? Like, I'm admitting fault? Like, I would never say that or mean that with that kind of intent. You believe me, right? I was just reading the question, but I still feel sorry for all the harm that I might have genuinely caused. But if I respond with the clip, it might make me seem disingenuous. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I'll do that right now. Thank you so much for being here for me. It's been three days since. Being overwhelmed with the attention on the media, he's tried to capitalize on it by trying to stream more, but it has only resulted in more people unfollowing him. He hasn't spoken to you since. You go over to his place, uninvited, to check on him. Sorry I messaged you in the middle of the night. There's been some nasty comments on my page, and I really don't know how to feel. That Bexter guy clipped the part where I said, and it got tons of views. More views than any of my videos. Now people think I hate people with cancer, even though I really don't. And this is like other people's introduction to me, you know? And I want to clear things up and show them that it's clipped. Right? What should I say? Do I respond with the whole clip? Write an apology? Well, but if I write an apology, won't that mean that I meant to say that? Like, I'm admitting fault? Like, I would never say that or mean that with that kind of intent. You believe me, right? I was just reading the question, but I still feel sorry for all the harm that I might have genuinely caused. 
But if I respond with the clip, it might make me seem disingenuous. Even though it can be taken as an admittance of guilt, You're right. Thank you so much for being here for me. It's been three days since. Being overwhelmed with the attention on the media, He's tried to capitalize on it by trying to stream more, but it has only resulted in more people unfollowing him. He hasn't spoken to you since. You go over to his place, uninvited, to check on him. Ah, mm. uh, I'm so st I'm alive and well, see? Look at this smile. Does it look like the smile of a dead guy? Well, can I? Then I'm gonna smile forever. Did I ever tell you how much I love you and care for you? I love you and care for you so much. You're my best friend in the world and the best partner I could. Ah, there's a cat. Huh? Yeah, looks like. No, I got it's the least. Where's the top? Did you get any for your? Let's split it. Ah, you were doing this. Oh my gosh. I feel so. I feel. Here too. That's not sometimes. Mmm. And sometimes. Okay. That's because I know. I love. Hey. You've done so much for me. Can you teach me how to be a streamer for a week? Hit a... In a week. It's a secret. Let's see. You... Hello? Sounds good. Good morning, Zyborgs. How are you guys? Well, funny story. You won't believe what happened, but I almost died. So, Hello Taco is a five minute walk from my place. And I'm like, what a breeze. I can walk that far. Well, do you know what isn't a breeze? The wind that's blowing 50 miles per hour. So imagine this, I step away from chat. My phone's out of battery, so I charge it and leave it at home. I put on a coat and open the door, not really knowing how it is outside or how the weather is because I've been talking to you guys all day. So, you know, I'm just waddling around Headphones on, sweatpants on, jamming out, doing a little one-two dance move, practically skipping, excited for my little taco run, right? So tell me why. When I open my door, the door tries to headbutt me with the velocity of a moving car because of the strong ass winds. And tell me why I head out anyways, even though the wind was terrible and it was freezing cold. It's because you're dumb. But that's so mean! Aw, you love me? 
Yay! So, as I was saying, I head out under the severe weather condition because I'm like, what the fuck? Five minutes of walking isn't gonna kill me. And it didn't. But then I actually walked to Hello Taco and it took me 20 minutes because of the snow and storm. And then when I got there, the store was closed. So I trudged my cold little booty all the way back home. And then I lost my keys. So now I'm keyless, phoneless, and foodless. Bitchless? I've got too much riz to be bitchless. A beer. Anyway, so, I'm out here shivering. If only someone was there to save me. Yeah, honestly, I think if I were saved, I would have fallen in love with my savior. How did you get in? A cat found my key for me. He's my savior. Isn't he cute? I haven't named him yet. What should I name him, chat? Princess Monster Truck. Oh, Squid is cute. Maybe ink, because he's ink colored. Bowling ball! Soup. First name, French onion? French onion soup. You wanna be named that, little guy? Meow. I don't think he likes it. Oh! Eight ball is good! Pedro Pscal? Haha, <laughs> that's cute! Microwave is an amazing name. He likes apples. Duke. <laughs> How does that sound, my little Duke pie? <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I could write anyone's name in the death notebook. How am I gonna talk to you all in jail? I can't bear to be separated from you guys. So no death notebook for me. Aw, you'd save me? Will Xylus seduce the guards? Um, what about their families? I'm not gonna become a home wrecker. Xylus does not have that much confidence. You guys know me a little too well. Bite through the bars. Oh, their poor teeth. I fear for their dentist. That plan won't get us anywhere. I think I might get too embarrassed and forget to sneak out too. I feel like such a princess. Aw. Thank you everyone for wanting to save me. I'd save you from any make-believe prison. Maybe all of them? Aw, really? You're my hero. That's all for today's stream. Thank you for your support. Hey, so how was that? Xylus Melon says, but she's not being. Okay, I'll demod her.
My bra size? I don't even know what my size is. Huh? How do you know this? Are my tits small? Are you saying you're not attracted to my tits? Really? Okay then, I'll work on making my heart bigger. Can it be... you? Do you have any recommendations? Can't I just take off my shirt? Seems like that's what people want. What does that mean? Why? Hmm, probably not. Oh, and that. Uh -huh. Why are you trying to make me come over right now? Hi, producer. Hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know me so well. Okay. Stay up all night with me. Thinking of doing a karaoke stream today. Oh, really? All right, I trust you. I won't follow through on that idea. Yeah, gotcha. Thanks for the feedback. Yo, 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 what's up, Zyborgs? <laughs> Did I seem cool, chat? I'll give him all the kisses he needs to get better. Yeah? I'll be ready to accept all of them when I see you. I need him to... <laughs> You're so funny, chat. Everybody's so creative. Riz, um, I don't know. I'm kind of awkward with things like that. Uh, okay. Hey, I know a place. What is your love language? Hmm, I think it's a bit of a mix. Acts of service and words of affirmation are definitely up there. It's funny because they're kind of the opposite in the way that you get acts of service when you're cared for, and when you care for someone else, you usually get words of affirmation, right? But I'm a spoiled boy, and I get to have both. <laughs> you're taken. I was just talking about my experience playing dating sims, dummy. The only person I have time for is you, chat.
What dating sim? Error 143. Duh. Wow, why are you guys bullying me? Placing food on the side of my desk and giving me head pats? I think I'd cry if someone did that for me. Whoa, you guys are so experienced. <sighs> Last time you had a good sleep and why are you... That's so mean! I slept sometime last night. That's not a lie. How dark do you like your toast? Somewhere in between burnt and barely touched. A light brown is nice. Is it pink or brown? Hmm? Neither. My favorite color is blue. Isn't it obvious? If you weren't a streamer, what would you be? An idol. What genre of music do you like? I like R&B, jazz, J-pop, and J-rock. I have a classical background in music. Do I play an instrument? Unfortunately, all I have is my soundboard and my voice. Anyway, that's all for today. I'm gonna go eat before I forget. Thanks for tuning in and supporting me. It means the world. Bye! Stream was a little lacking, huh? Game. I've never been great with games, though. I forget to talk while playing as well. Any tips? Hmm. Idol streamer? Is it? Hmm, my connection with the fans. I like talking and relating with them. I just don't want them to overstep my boundaries. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Hmm, nice, respectful, funny. I think I'm okay with a bit of teasing. I take it all as a joke, so I don't mind it much. How do you feel about it? You'll have me until death do us part. I'm trying to be with Thank you. Hey, I want to spend some time with you. Mm -hmm. I really miss you lately, and I know you're always there in my streams, but I don't know. I just still miss you. <laughs> We've been talking about work so much that... And how does that feel for you?
I want to stream with you. I don't care what other people say. We could become this cute. Could you imagine it? Cooking stream. Dancing. Sleeping stream. We could be the first. That's all. Non-stop. What do you think? It is. We won't. I'm sure of it. I want to be with you forever. Mm -hmm. See? It's a great idea. I want the whole world to know. Especially with how important it is to you. You like showcasing every attention whore. You just like me, for real. I know you as well. Remember that. Sushi. Purple. Me. Dating you is like... Looks like I'll be winning the lottery a couple times in this lifetime, then. Love you. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but I don't have a life outside of stream. I got some stuff for Ryuk to eat, and he's doing good. He seems very... Maybe... Hey! I don't want that! I want all of your... No... Can't it be earlier? <sighs> I guess you're right. We just need to hit the goal and then we'll have all the time in the world. No, if I have any amount of energy, I'd rather be spending it with you. Ready to edit together? Mmm, <laughs> love me some good parallel play. I think you're called cute. You always say that when I outwit you, huh? Fuck off. I love you too. Duh. Silas doesn't call you the day before stream. He just hops in stream with no prior call. Nyaha! Minna! Genki desu ka? Wow! There's so many people here today! Hello to everyone new! Uh, I'm Xylus, an idol variety streamer. Today I'll be doing some Q&A since there are so many of you here. Are you scared of the dark? I am scared of the dark. You never know what can come at you if you can't see it. I always keep my trusty cat nightlight with me. Does that ruin your expectations of me? Sorry I can't protect you, chat. <laughs> Male wife? What does that mean? Shh, baby girl, I'll protect you. Thank you for protecting me, ex alien bait. You got any exclusive content plans? Oh, I do have an OnlyFans. Hmm. I'm glad you're so excited, but I'm not sure why. No sneak peeks, unfortunately. Why wouldn't I have an OnlyFans? I love giving my fans exclusive content. Yeah, I drop never-before-seen gaming clips on there. What's my favorite game? Hmm. My taste in women. Well, I'd like someone with two arms and ten fingers, someone with nice hair, I like someone who has eyes. Personally, I like my significant others alive. I don't know about y'all, though. I hate people with cancer. Huh? No, I don't. I was just trying to say I like every type of person. Ah, shoot. But I guess you're right. I left a bunch of people out. I'm so sorry for that. I never meant for my words to have that intention. What? No, I wouldn't mind dating an amputee. Guys, what are you saying? 
Wait, 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 guys, it's a misunderstanding. Wait, guys, why are you being so mean to me? I feel like you're bullying me, Baxter. I never even said that. No. No, no, it's not. Don't say that, please. Sorry. I, I want to be alone right now. Sorry I messaged you in the middle of the night. There's been some nasty comments on my page, and I really don't know how to feel. That Bexter guy clipped the part where I said... And it got tons of views. More views than any of my videos. Now people think I hate people with cancer, even though I really don't. And this is like other people's introduction to me, you know? And I want to clear things up and show them that it's clipped. I've lost so many followers. I really don't think it's the same thing. I don't like it. The fact that people have misconceptions of me. It makes it hard for my fans to say they like me. What if they stop supporting me after that? It's not. I can say something. It got two million views. What do you mean? <sighs> so I can prove them wrong with my bigger outreach. No. Okay. So, what do I do? Okay. Thank you. Should I go live today? Okay. I'll go make a completely irrelevant YouTube video then. Ignoring the problem never helped anyone. Maybe that's the case if you're not a famous person with vicious fans who'll say anything for their five minutes of fame. But for Xylus, ignoring it for a day and letting it pass by smooths over most of it. Yes! I just want everyone to know you're mine!
I was never theirs to begin with, though. Come, come. Hey, guys. Let me introduce you to my partner. And my soon-to-become fiancé. What? I love you more than anyone in the world. I've streamed to so many viewers before, made so many new friends, have so many fans. But you're the only person who's ever made me feel loved, and the only person I've ever truly loved. Your expressions, everything that's important to you, I care about them all so much. In every lifetime, all I'd like is for a chance to make you happy. Will you marry me? A sudden urge from you rises. What was this violent feeling? Cuteness aggression? Suddenly, a knife appears in your hand. And you plunge the knife into him. Over and over and over again. It's okay. This... This really isn't your fault. Don't feel bad, okay? I can... Explain... After all that, you still couldn't save him. Because this isn't the first time he's died. He passed away in the blizzard from the cold. You should have come quicker. All of this over a taco. It's sad, really. He sold his soul to me. For a couple more days of being with you. I asked him that too. He told me he's tired of living his life for others. That this made him realize what was really important to him. Not the fame, not the money, but more time and experiences with you. But since you thrive off your job, there was no other way to go about it. I think you saw how fickle people were, how they were so prone to lash at every little thing. I think he just wanted to take a leap of faith and trust everyone. His fan base, the people who've been here since the beginning, they weren't enough. Because although you're powerless in this world, you're not powerless in that one. As insensitive as it may seem, my power is derived from popularity. If you can get this universe 5,000 ratings on itch.io, I can revive him. It won't be possible alone. I 
I hope you have enough. Good luck. He rubbed my tummy on the right spot. Goodbye. Hopefully, this is until next time.